Exercise 8. Norton's outstanding stock consists of 10,000 shares of non-cumulative 5% preferred stock with a $10 par value and 25,000 shares of common stock with a $1 par value. During its first four years of operation, the corporation declared and paid the following total cash dividends. Preferred shareholders have a preference as to the distribution of dividends. They receive their dividends before the common shareholders. The annual preferred dividend is 5% of $10 par value, 50 cents per share. So the total annual preferred dividend is 10,000 shares multiplied by 5% of $10 par. 10,000 shares multiplied by 50 cents per share the annual preferred dividend is $5,000. But that doesn't guarantee that $5,000 of preferred dividends will be received by the preferred shareholders. In 2011, the Board of Directors only declares a $4,000 dividend. The $4,000 is paid to the preferred shareholders and nothing is received by the common shareholders. The difference between the annual preferred dividend, $5,000, and the amount paid to the preferred shareholders, 4000 does not carry forward to 2012, as this stock is non-cumulative. In 2012, the total dividend declared is $30,000. The preferred shareholders receive their full dividend, 5000 and the remainder is distributed to the common shareholders. In 2013, the total dividend declared is $120,000. Again, this is more than enough to pay the preferred shareholders their annual dividend of $5,000 in full, and the common shareholders receive the balance, $115,000. And in 2014, the total dividend declared is $195,000, of which the preferred shareholders receive the full $5,000, and the common shareholders receive the balance. In total, for the four years, the preferred shareholders receive $19,000 three years at $5,000 and one year at $4,000. And the common shareholders received $330,000.